Here's our tale of the tape. Bechtemir, 23 years old. Cortez is 26. This is at 175 pounds. That is light heavyweight. Melakulia says, I can fight at 168 or even 160 if I had to, but right now he's comfortable at a buck 75. He is the taller fighter, but Cortez will have a slight half inch reach advantage. Here's Joe Martinez. And ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Ten rounds this scheduled in the light heavyweight division. First to make his way to the ring, fighting out of Jalisco, Mexico. Here's the veteran, Oscar Cortez. No frills for Oscar Cortez. All he needs is a t-shirt and a pair of boxing gloves and he's ready to rumble. We'll see if he's ready to win. I mean, everyone's ready to fight. Well, last fight, but we are had, they ready to win? Last fight, we had Gato, and now we've got <laughs> Raton. So we got a cat, and now the mouse. We got the cat and mouse game. In his last fight, Cortez was knocked out in the second round by Camille Cerzameta on the undercard of Triple G, Derby and Chenko in October, Madison Square Garden. Germetta is heavily rumored to be Triple G's next opponent. Who knows where that fight will take place? We heard Eddie Hearn mention it might even be in Kazakhstan. Either way, Triple G should be coming to us sometime later in the spring. Oscar Cortez, 27 and 5, with 14 KOs. And his opponent ready to make his ring walk. Here's the undefeated victim here, Menekouzian. He's a man of few words and a few rounds because he usually gets you out of there early. Very, very hard puncher, and he just has that bully mentality. Hence the nickname, but yeah, he wants to seek and destroy every single time. His last fight, he did go the 10-round distance, but it was just his fourth professional fight. That's something only a handful of boxers can say they've done in their fourth fight. He's moving at a very rapid pace. Yeah, but that's how, you know, these Olympians, especially from Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan and uh, Eastern Europe, they push them really fast because they saw everything as an amateur already. They faced every style. And Joel Diaz, and Antonio Diaz, his, uh, his trainer, he told us that. It doesn't matter who they put in front of this man. He's already faced everyone in the amateurs. He was the flag bearer for the closing ceremonies of the 2016 Olympics for Uzbekistan. And he's already ranked number 15 by the WBA at 168 pounds. The current two WBA champs are Callum Smith and a man named Canelo. Is, this, is it pronounced Alvarez? Something, Something like that? that? Yeah. Back into the ring now, and Joe Martinez. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is good for 10 rounds of action in the light heavyweight division. Your three judges scoring at ringside, Carla Caiz, Rudy Baragan, and Max DeLuca. And when the action begins inside the ring, referee in charge, Eddie Hernandez. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black trunks, trimmed in white, he weighed in 176 and three quarter pounds. This 32 fight veteran holds a professional record of 27 victories, including 14 knockouts and five defeats. Fighting out of and representing Sapopan Jalisco, Mexico, here is Oscar Cortez. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing navy blue, trimmed in green. He weighed in 181 and one half pounds. In four professional fights, he is unbeaten with four victories, no defeats, three wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the WBA Continental America Super Middleweight Champion, the undefeated from Shumabek, Uzbekistan, and now fighting out of Indio, California, Bektamir Menakuzi. Yeah. Gentlemen, I've been on the rules with you both. Your professionals, I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Touch gloves, good luck. 
All right, Sergio, what's the over-under on rounds here for Beck the Bully versus Oscar Cortez? I don't think it would go past the first round, so the over-under should be in minutes, possibly. Let's see how wise you are. And the reason I say that, it's not a knock on the toughness of Cortez, is he took this fight practically yesterday. No, it wasn't practically. He did take it yesterday. In fact, he weighed in today, just jumping at the chance, fighting out of Mexico. Zapopan, Mexico. It was originally scheduled for Beck to face Marco Antonio Parabon at 170 or at 175 pounds. Excuse me, 168 pounds, but then in the late change, boosted it up to 175 with Oscar Cortez, who looks every bit of 175. Yeah, he's uh, really soft around the belly and torso area. So expect the bully to go down there, dig down deep. That left hand, is that, a, that is, we're going to call it a slip. That could have easily been a knockdown. Cortez already showing very little interest in standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Beck the bully. Seems like his legs gave out right there. Oh, my, another left hand as Cortez tries to smile it off. But it's no laughing matter. It's a matter of when, and that is your answer. With a minute 45 left in the first, taking a knee is Cortez. And believe it or not, Cortez started his career as a featherweight, 126 pounds. That was 50 pounds ago. Here comes Bektamir looking for knockout number four. He will get it. That I can promise you. Another left hand connects. No jabs from Melakuzia. Because everything's landing with the hooks and uh, the body shots. Just like that. Left to the body. Cortez down again. I don't think he's going to get up. Why would he? And that's it. Cue the music. Turn on the lights. Bektamir Melikuziev is now 5-0 with four knockouts in what I can guarantee you is the easiest fight he's had as a professional. The over-under must have been two minutes and went over. Did we learn anything about Bektamir? That he will fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. But no, skill-wise, this was just a, a walk in the park for him and a scoring session. Well, his, his manager and... In fact, Bektamir agreed with this, very confident in his abilities. They said, listen, Bektamir is the best amateur boxer in all weight classes outside of Lomachenko. No, and, that, and he believes that. I mean, he's, he's really... Do you believe that? I need to see more about him, but Lomachenko, I, I don't know. It's, it's tough to compare Lomachenko with anybody. He's possibly the greatest boxer right now, pound for pound. And, you know, Melikuziev, as talented as he is, and talented corner that he has and the pedigree, I still need to see more of him. Different styles, too. Let's show you these knockdowns, Sergio. There was a couple of them. Here's number one. There's an old man left. Came up short, landed on the chest, but right there, came back with a straight, it looked like a jab, power jab, shotgun jab around the chin that put Cortez down. Knees went out right there. See, that's what happens when you get clipped in the tip of the chin right there. You usually, it's not that you got hurt, but your knees go out on you. And then right there, the bully not forgetting about the body, and that probably hurt a lot more than the chin shot. So Beck the bully remains undefeated. Let's hear now from Joe Martinez, who makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes officially. Two minutes, five seconds, round number one. Your winner by KO victory. He is still undefeated. Back the bully, Manakuzian.
we'll hear from Beck the Bully momentarily as he makes his way here ringside to speak with me and Sergio. He trains out of nearby Indio, California. So he feels right at home here in the Honda Center. And here he comes with his translator. All right, and we're all set now to hear from Bektomir Melikuziev. First of all, congratulations on your win. What do you make of this type of performance and of an opponent that was clearly overmatched? Saying obviously that wasn't supposed to be my opponent, but thank you everyone for the support. It was the last minute for me, same as for him. Unfortunately, it happened, but I did what I was supposed to do. I, I didn't want to bother people with working with a guy like that. I just did what I was supposed to do. Hopefully, next opponent will be the guy I was supposed to fight today, but uh, we'll see. Todd Grisham asked me, what what did you learn in this fight? I said, well, it's tough to learn anything when it's a last minute of replacement and such a, I shouldn't say easy opponent, but someone that you're supposed to walk through. Did you learn anything? Obviously, uh, I didn't learn nothing inside the ring. I got my experience going through the training camp. It was a great training camp. And as our coach is saying, spend less time in the ring and learn in, in training camp. It's not a best thing to learn in the fight, you know, being through the tough fights and something like that. So uh, it was a great training camp. I learned in camp. Here I just got my experience, another ring walk, another another experience of seeing the crowd. So basically that's it. And a paycheck. So you don't get trained to, uh, you don't get paid to train, but you did get a, a paycheck here for fighting. But you beat who they put in front of you and you did the right job. How soon would you like to be back in the ring considering you didn't have to put in much of an effort tonight? Когда ты готов вернуться в ринг, учитывая, что ты сегодня не, не, не потратил энергию. Anytime. God bless. With everything goes well, I'll be back very soon. You guys will know we have uh, Golden Boy World of Boxing, Roberto, Oscar, Andre Rubinsky. They have a huge plan for him, so you'll see him soon. Well, maybe we'll talk to Oscar De La Hoya and see if we can have you fight again later tonight. Would you be down for that? Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right, congratulations. to fight. Congratulations. He is Bektomir Melikuziev. Congratulations, guys. Go celebrate as we get set later tonight for Ryan Garcia, who will be in our main event. And the last time we saw Garcia, he absolutely bulldozed Roberto